God is good, therefore be joyful. The Bible tells us in Psalm 100, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. We need to serve Jesus with a joy that stems from deep within our hearts. I remember my dad singing many times this song. If you want joy, real joy, wonderful joy, let Jesus come into your heart. Your sins he'll wash away. Your night he'll turn today. Your life he'll make it over again. And then come in to stay. If you want joy, real joy, wonderful joy, let Jesus come into your heart. Since Jesus came into my heart, he's brought joy. I have joy like a fountain in my soul. A fountain that never runs dry. Some people serve God on a minor key. They complain about everything. Like the children of Israel. They are never happy. They are out of Egypt, but Egypt is not out of them. The children of Israel were slaves in the land of Egypt. And God brought deliverance. But they just wanted to go back to slavery just for spices like cumin and garlic. We don't appreciate the full meaning of freedom in the Father's house. If the Son sets you free, you're free indeed. We suffer from spiritual amnesia. We forget very quickly what life has been without Christ and how much joy Jesus brings. Nehemiah declared, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Nehemiah called on Israel. He said, enjoy your bread today. Enjoy the sweet food you have today. Share with those who do not have. Remember, the joy of the Lord is your strength. I heard someone tra uh, translate that verse as the enjoyment of the Lord is my strength. Do you enjoy God? You re do you rejoice with unspeakable joy and full of glory? The joy of the Lord is my strength. I believe there is a, there is a relationship between joy and physical strength. For the Christian especially. The more joy you have, the more physical strength you have. You'd find that happy people are not sick people. The Bible says laughter is like good medicine. Isn't that awesome? God's word is like medicine. It's a balm for my healing. I believe God's report. He says I am healed. All other reports God considers evil. I've already been healed. I've already been healed. God is the healer. He wants to bring joy into your life. Are you happy as a Christian? Is Christianity something you tolerate? Is Jesus someone you tolerate or do you celebrate him? Celebrate Jesus. Enjoy God. Man's chief purpose is to glorify God and enjoy him forever, said John Calvin. Do you enjoy God? Is the enjoyment of the Lord your strength? I can guarantee you that you will have more strength. You'll be physically strong. You'll be more healthy as you express your joy. Peter reminds us, we have joy unspeakable and full of glory. Isn't that awesome? When Christ empires your heart, when Christ rules your heart, the joy is an insatiable joy. The joy cannot be contained. We have joy unspeakable. Have you been so happy that words do not come out sometimes to express your joy? Sometimes you don't need words to express. Sometimes you just need to let go and rejoice in the goodness of the Lord. The Bible says the Lord is good. His mercy endures forever. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, the psalmist calls. Serve the Lord with gladness. And I want to say, if you don't serve him with gladness, don't serve him at all. Be hilarious in your giving. Be hilarious in your praising. Be hilarious in all you do.
we have joy unspeakable and full of glory. James reminds us, count it all joy when you fall into various trials. For God is working his great purposes in your life. Do you complain when you go through trials? Do you say, why, Lord, instead of try, Lord? God has a plan for you. Paul declares in 2 Corinthians, this light affliction is working for us an eternal weight of glory. The problems you go through are light compared to the amazing and abundant grace of God. God gives grace tailor-made for every situation. We have joy unspeakable and full of glory. In trials we can triumph. Perhaps you're enjoying your state in life right now. I want you to seize the day. Today is all you've got. There is no guarantee of tomorrow. The Bible says, boast not of tomorrow, for you do not know what the day may bring forth. All you have is today. Seize the day. I'm reminded of some families, one comes to my mind particularly, four loving children. Loving husband and wife, beautiful family dynamics. Not a thing to worry them in the world. All of a sudden, one of the children is diagnosed with cancer. Unless the Lord brings healing instantly. Sometimes healing is a process. God always heals. Their lives will be changed forever. The challenges of today will be new challenges. But you know, God will not lead you where his grace will not keep you. God will lead you and he'll give you his all-sufficient grace. Someone called that the answer to unanswered prayer. My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. The great apostle Paul declared, I asked once, I asked twice of the Lord. Take this thorn in the flesh. You know, we don't know what the thorn in the flesh was. And I can guarantee you it was not his mother-in-law. I don't know whether it was some kind of sickness. Some people say blindness. Perhaps the thorn in the flesh will startle us all together. You know, Paul declared that which I want to do, I find so hard to do. That which I must do, I find so difficult to do. Who can free me from this body of death? I don't know whether it was some stronghold of some sin problem that came time, timely to him. But he says, you know, God has done one thing through this. He's humbled me. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. He in due time will pick you up. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Count it all joy when you go to various trials. Enjoy the day. You don't know what the day may bring forth tomorrow. Like this family. This family related to me. They have new challenges. But they have the same God. The same yesterday, today and forever. The God of yesterday's grace is the God of today's grace. Don't panic. Your life is in God's hands. We're talking about gladness. And I want to encourage you to serve the Lord with gladness. We're talking about the fact that God is good. And I encourage you. Because he's good. Serve him with gladness. We have joy unspeakable and full of glory. We need to count it all joy when we fall into trials. We need to stop complaining because God has a grand plan for our lives. Jeremiah declares, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, not harm you. Plans to give you a hope in the future. Now the punchline as we come to the end of this little talk. The punchline is, are you serving God with gladness? Is the joy of the Lord your strength? Can you declare that God is good and because he's good, you're filled with an uncontainable joy, a joy that is inexpressible, a joy that is full of glory. May God's joy flood your heart. May God's joy empire your heart and may you love him forever and enjoy him forever. Remember, the joy of the Lord is your strength.